All right, this is going to be to uh, show these cracks here to um, deal with these the cracks in this block here. Uh, as you can see here, when it froze, uh, this freeze plug was out right here. It cracked the block here and a little bit further down. Let's see if I can find it here. And down here. Down here. Not bad at all when I was running it. Um, ran it with a box blade at uh, some higher idle. It didn't even really leak that much. So I do feel like I'm going to be using Blue Devil. I do feel like it should uh, be a good fix for this. And then I'll probably put it over at some... Some... Uh, JB Weld type stuff here. I don't know if I know where that is. There I'm hoping. Okay, let's see. There's the beginning of it. Okay. Oh, I'm looking at the... I'm looking at the head. Let's see, where is it? Oh, there it is. That's the crack I'm looking at right there. Okay, so what I've already done is I've already taken the thermostat out. Blue Devil did recommend that, not on their package, but I called them. Um, because this runs so cold, that's my thought, is that if I didn't take the thermostat out, then it wasn't going to get into the block. So first thing I'm going to do, I've already drained it, I'm, gonna, I'm going to uh, do a flush, but before I put the flush in there, I'm stuck in this thing here. Alright, so before I do the, um, the flush, I'm going to put some distilled water in there to get out the remainder of the, the antifreeze. And then we will, I'll do that probably one time and then I'll do the flush. And then I'll flush that out. And then we'll put in the Blue Devil Radiator Block Seal and let it run for 45 minutes. This says to let it run with the flush for 10 minutes. I guess I'll do that. Um, if it was because of it needing to heat up and get into the block, I don't know. But if it's just to get it a good cleaning, then it will definitely get a good cleaning. All right, just about a gallon fills up the radiator, but I know that once I turn it on, it's gonna get sucked in there, or it's gonna mix um, with it should be pretty full, um, but uh, we'll see. We will see. I'm gonna get another one ready just in case. This starts going out. Okay. All right. All right. Again, we got it on half throttle. Make sure that is pressed in. Okay, uh, we're ready to go. I'll just go ahead and do the glow lamp.
alligator flesh has gone in. And it says to let run for 10 minutes with the cap on. I don't, to be honest with you, I don't see the, I don't see the reason for doing that, um, especially since the thermostat's out, which is gonna create a situation where it's constantly flowing. I, I would see putting the cap back on if you want it to um, heat up so that it will open up the thermostat and let everything go through. Um, but, uh, I don't know. So it's 722 now, and we will go ahead and start it back up. You can tell the temperature never went up. That's, a, I guess, another good thing about um, running it without the thermostat during this procedure. And I don't see any reason not to, do, not to run it on low either. This isn't even that hot. I don't even think there's much pressure in it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and open it up. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and start draining it. All right, it is draining. Definitely, radiator definitely looks somewhat cleaner, I guess. All right, now I'm going to turn it back on, and this time I'm going to put the remainder of the of the water that I have in there to flush it out while I have the pet cock slightly open. It's closed right now.
Alright, so the next time I've got all that draining out, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to start, I'm going to fill it up with antifreeze because after I put this um, uh, flush in, I mean the uh, block seal in, I want to actually go ahead and let it run and, and let some of it drain so I can get uh, some of the water that's out so I can have a more concentrated because that's already 50-50 so um, and I put final charge in because it's diesel it has all the right properties that it's supposed to so it doesn't do that cavitization thing um, and so uh, what we're going to do is going to do that now and I would say just looking at the radiator it's, it's a lot cleaner so I know the inside of the motor is too. Oh, um, and by the way, when I talked to the guy, I asked him at Blue Devil, do I need to be running that um, Blue Devil block seal with it at high idle? No, he said, he said low idle. So 45 minutes at low idle. And he did suggest taking out the... Um, the thermostat and I didn't put a gasket in there I just put silicone sealing around it I'll put the the, um, the uh, thermostat back in after um, I let the um, and he said you didn't have to drain out the the block seal you can just leave that block seal in because it says he says it uh, does what it does when it's in there and then I guess whatever you know whatever chemical uh, it doesn't keep keep working and so he said it was safe to, uh, to keep, I don't have to flush that out is what I'm saying. But I know when I take that off, I'm gonna lose some of it, so I'll be putting some more back in, so. All right, so I'm gonna be putting in Blue Devil Pour and Go Radiator and Block Sealer, 25 bucks at AutoZone. Just going over the instructions. Uh, oh, <laughs> I didn't even leave enough room to put this in there. Oh, that's because I still haven't um, drained some of that out yet. I'm gonna try to do that in just a little bit. Or slowly starting with a cold engine and the heater on max, that I don't have that issue. Slowly pour Blue Devil into the radiator as the vehicle idles. If the vehicle does not have a radiator cap when the engine's off and cold product may be installed through the top radiator hose, do not pour into the reservoir or overflow. After installing Blue Devil, replace radiator cap. Allow vehicle to idle for 45 minutes with the radiator cap on and Blue Devil in the system. Notice the red things. Um, uh, top off radiator with clean antifreeze or water. Blue Devil can remain in the system. All right.
but of course there is no thermostat in there. Here's a view of it with the light. Right. 